For this video, we're going to be looking at hand sanitization techniques. So this week's presentation is all about hand sanitization, which is a fundamental technique to keep the hands free from microorganisms and is really important to working in clean rooms, particularly in um, aseptic processing facilities. So I'm just going to run a little bit about the background of hand sanitization, then you may get a demo, and then we'll just conclude with again emphasizing the importance of the hand sanitization technique. Okay, so just a little bit of history because I think this does help with the context a little bit. So there was a guy called Sem Melweis who was working in the great hospital in Vienna in the 1840s. And he was overseeing two maternity clinics. And one of these maternity clinics had a mortality rate of 2%. The other one had a mortality rate of 10%. And the clinic, one clinic was looked after by midwives and that had the 2% lower mortality rate. The other clinic was looked after by medical students and this had the 10% rate. So when this Austrian professor started looking around, he found that the medical students were previously working in autopsy rooms, then coming straight into the maternity rooms and not washing their hands. As soon as he asked the medical students to wash their hands in mildly chlorinated water, then the mortality rates dropped for the one with the medical students and stayed the same in both rooms. Unfortunately with this particular person, it took him so long to convince the medical community that he was right, he actually ended up having a nervous breakdown and was committed to an asylum. But his ideas stuck and then we ended up with good hand sanitization practices. So why do we need to have sanitize our hands? Well, that's because of the microorganisms that are on the hands. And we have what's called resident flora which consists of those microorganisms that naturally live on the skin and are found residing just underneath that first layer of skin cells. And then we have the transient flora, which are the things that we pick up. Um, and these are more amenable to removing by good hand hygiene techniques. And these transient organisms tend to survive, but they don't normally multiply on the skin. But they are important to address because Generally, they will survive for up to 150 hours. And in combination with these transient organisms and our natural flora, we're shedding around a million skin cells per day. Okay, so that's the flora bit established. Um, now, why have clean hands? Well, we need to have clean hands. We're going into clean rooms. When we pick up our gowns, when we're unwrapping our gowns, and when we're gowning and putting on our gloves and then for every critical application within the clean room. We should sanitize our hands routinely every five minutes even if we've done nothing and then every time we've touched the surface after we've touched the surface we should be sanitizing our hands. And just to illustrate the issues, um, here are two agar slants. Um, the one on the left hand side is from non-sanitized hands. It's covered with lots of uh, microorganisms, lots of um, skin flora by the looks of it. And then you see the sanitized hands and how much that has reduced by. So it is absolutely critical to do that. Now there's some discussion around whether soap or sanitizer is best. Well, both are really good. So when we enter a production facility, we should be using soap and hot water. And this is very practical and very effective. And we need to do that because we may have traces of grease or stuff we've picked up. And we need to get that off our hands before we want to apply sanitizer. Then we put on sanitizer, we exit the CNC changing rooms, and then we continue to use sanitizer as we move through the changing rooms, using the appropriate volume to disseminate and get rid of the microorganisms of concern. Okay, so how to sanitize your hands correctly? What's the correct technique? Let's have a short demo to find out what to do. Okay, so there's no harm looking at hand sanitization techniques. And this is the same for bare hands as it is for gloves. 
So what we need to do is apply around two millilitres of um, disinfectant. Okay. And then what we're going to begin doing is rubbing the palms. Okay. So we do they rub the palms for a few seconds, and then we're going to put the palm down across the hand, and we're going to rub back and forward, and then start going through the fingers a bit like this. And then we're going to rotate the hand this way, and then we're going to do the full interface fingers movement. And then we're going to do this action where we curl the hand and we rotate into the fingers. And then we're going to switch over and we're going to do the reverse. So we're really getting into those fingers. And then they're going to take the thumbs and we're going to twist the thumbs on both hands, really getting that sanitizer into it. And then we just need to make sure that we've really got into the palms with the remaining sanitizer and then we conclude with the application to the wrist. Okay, and if it's not enough sanitizer, if you find that's drying out, then you need to do an additional application. But that's the kind of standard medical grade hand sanitization technique. Well, that was an interesting video. I wonder where they got that guy from to do that technique. Okay, so moving on, uh, just a quick look at the regulations. So the regulations for hand sanitization are embedded in EU GMP Annex 1 and in the FDA Code of Federal Regulations. And there's a couple of references on the slide um, in case you want to check on any of that. Um, okay, so just a quick thing about sanitizers themselves. So um, they are alcohol based and the uh, effective range is between 61 and 71 percent alcohol and the optimal alcohols to use are either ethanol or isopropyl alcohol um, something like methanol is not allowed to be used because it's highly toxic now for bare hands ethanol is best and we tend to use denatured ethanol which has some added moisturizer and also chemicals that are called humectants and these are ingredients that um, you, know, you might find in household lotions and cleansers and they help to hydrate the skin because they kind of like um, attract water molecules like a magnet. It's also very important that um, no hand sanitizers contain any perfumes because the perfumes can interfere with the efficacy of the sanitizer um, so we go for non-perfumed um, sanitizers for both bare hands and for gloved hands. And how do they kill microorganisms? Well, the um, sanitizers are very effective at denaturing the outer cell wall of um, bacteria and causing the contents to leak outside. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I've been Tim Sandal, and as usual, I shall say to you, good luck with the rest of your day, and I'll be back with you with another video quite soon.